I must mention quickly, if you like seeing our videos, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe so you can keep up to date with everything. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram because we don't want you to miss out on anything that's going on. Well, we've had an interesting week. Elia Torek went out, ran in a handicap and showed that putting him up £18 for his last win was just ridiculous. He got beaten 12 lengths this time. Whether the handicapper will actually drop him again, I probably doubt it. But there you go. At least he's shown that that was just a little bit silly. Absolutely delighted to see him the Red win his last race. He's off for retirement now. He's been a really good servant. He's won eight races in all. He's won five races for us. And winning five races with one horse is a really hard thing to do. As the whole joke with Alia Torek proves, when you win a handicap, you get hiked straight up. And yet when you lose a handicap, you don't come down very quickly. It's okay if you've got a horse that's good enough to win a weight for age race and win off level weights against other horses. And to manage to win five races with a handicap, it really takes some doing. But he's the third horse we've done it with now. You know, it takes a bit of patience, but when you get a little bit of consistency, it's really nice to rack up a few wins. We were lucky we managed to find one little race for him, which was the lowest grade race he'd ever ran in. It was at his favourite track over the right distance and with Tom Marquand, who gave him an absolutely amazing ride. Tom is riding out of his skin. I'm sure he'll be champion jockey, if not this year, very soon. Before I go, I must remember to mention that our racing club have got an open day. So anybody who's interested in that, you're more than welcome to come along, meet all our other members, see the horses. We'll have a little parade. You'll get to see Marani Carly, our new two-year-old, up close. He's a smashing horse. I can't wait to see him out. He probably won't be running till the summer, but he's got a really nice pedigree. I think we've got a lot to look forward to with him. So I hope to see you there. Doesn't look like we'll have any runners next week but the ground's drying up, so I'm hoping to get the jumpers out soon. I've got a little video attached for you of Mr. Tickle and Break the Rules having to jump over the hurdles. They'll probably be our next runners. Affluence has got a couple of entries as well. So there's still plenty to look forward to at the end of the month. In the meantime, hope you have a good time.